Hey, I'm Emily with the Wix Collective, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things about the Wix editor, and that is repeater boxes. So here's a repeater box on this site, and it has been added on top of a strip, and repeater boxes are really cool. So like you have a container here, a container here, a container here, and they basically always follow each other's structure. So if you take this and move it up here, all of them are going to move up at the same time. Undo. If you add something to this, like if I take off a button, they all go away. If I add something to it, they all get the button added to them. So I'm going to show you how to build these from scratch. And then we are going to work through common errors and annoying things that you run into when you use repeater boxes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new section here just for our repeater box sample work through here. Okay. Go to your add, click lists and where's that? It's down here. List. Okay. Repeaters. So there's lots of different styles of repeaters that you can utilize, but let's just go with one of these blank ones. Okay. So this repeater box has three items at this time. We can go ahead and click on it one time. That gives you the overall repeater settings. So if you click layout, you can adjust the layout of the entire repeater box section. Um, you can adjust if it stretches width to width. There you go. There you go. Stretching from side to side. And then also if you want to give it a little breathing room with a little customized margins there, that's what I usually like to do. Okay. So here we have three containers. Let's go ahead and put some elements in them and start playing around. So we'll put an image in one of these. Okay. Repeater boxes are super helpful for like staff bios or like about our staff pages. Okay. So we can center those on there. Then we can click on the image and adjust it as needed. So if you click design, you can go down here and click like a circle. Okay, cool. This is what I like to do for staff bios a lot. Okay. Let's add some text elements. So if we grab a heading, add it to an item, double click, adjust the layout to center in this text and settings panel that pops up. We can do John Smith or something. Okay. So if you take that off, everything goes away. If you put it on, it's going to again, keep the same content until you change it. So here you go. Okay. Now let's say we wanted to add more text. So let's go ahead and click here, add a little bit underneath each one of these. Okay. And then one more item, we'll add a button. This gives us enough to kind of play around with and create some problem scenarios, which unfortunately do happen. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We have three elements here in our repeater. We can go ahead and change these to like Jet Smith, Bob Smith, whatever. And then we can go ahead and change these images to whatever you want it to be. We can grab one from Unsplash. Adjust the photos as needed. Zoom in. So you can do that. But if you try to make this larger, it's going to make all of them larger. So just make sure that you're aware of that. Okay. So from here, if we wanted to add another person to this list, we click on the repeater so that the repeater is selected and we click manage items. Here you click on whichever one you want to duplicate and click duplicate. Okay. And then you can actually delete them from here as well. You can add several different items to your repeater box list. Really? It's kind of infinite. I've never run into one where it said no more. <laughs> and so you can add as many as you want. 
Now, when it comes to the layout, click layout, click center, everything's going to be centered. However, one of the biggest problems with repeaters is that if you have, let's say an uneven number of items, it's not going to line them up perfectly. So you see how there's like this empty gap right here. That's just going to happen if you have an uneven number of items in your repeater box. So that's one issue. If anyone has a solution for that, please, I would love to know. So if you go to layout, can't really do anything. You can adjust the spacing. See, but you're always going to have like, like an orphan down here, just hanging out, or you're going to have a wonky space here. So you'll just have to decide if it works for your layout or not. Okay. Another thing that you're going to run into is let's say that this person has a bit of a longer bio than the others do. Do you see the problem? We have now bumped this button down on this one. So now they're not lined up correctly. Now let's say that happens on several of them. So now like the bumps, this one down, let's say that this one has quite a long bio as well. And you can see where it's going to start looking a little bit uneven and not desirable. So a, a way around this is to use columns, which we can get into in another video. But if you want to use your Peter boxes, cause there is, I mean, they, they are nice to use what I have found. Um, you can adjust the size of this container box if you want, and then you can adjust this button and that's one way to do it, but see, it's not working quite right across the board. So what I have done, you click on your text box and you hit return until you get enough space where it's almost lined up. It's not perfect, but in some instances it's worth it and it can create the consistency you need in your layout. Again, it's not perfect but it is a quick hack that can sometimes work just fine for you. So again, not always the perfect fix, but a lot of times it can definitely help when you have some wonky layout issues going on. But look, you will get some that are not quite perfectly lined up, but it might work for you. So again, that's repeater boxes. Um, sometimes they're a little funky, but that's just what you got to do. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you about repeater boxes? I think that's mostly it. There, there is sometimes, um, you might run into a problem where you have copied text from somewhere and you paste it in here and the formatting is a little weird. So if I would go to like a text document and then paste in my info. So if I go here, maybe even it's probably formatted just fine. But if I pop in some text that's pasted, the formatting might be weird. And I've had it to where some of these will be left justified. Some will be center justified. And it doesn't matter what I do. I can't get it to match up. In that case, you're going to need to unfortunately pull off your text and start over or find the box that's wonky delete everything and just type it in manually. Do not copy and paste from another document or another page. Um, let's see what else can I tell you? I'm trying to think of all the weird things that I've run into. Um, yeah, repeaters are great. Sometimes they're very aggravating, but in the end, a very useful tool. One more thing. You cannot add grouped items to a repeater box. So let's say that I had these and these items I made into a group. I group them. I click copy, I come down here and I click paste. I can't add these to a repeater box. It just won't work. So that is everything that you should need to know about repeater boxes. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And, um, yeah, if you are interested in getting a template for one of your websites, you can go to the Wix collective.com slash templates. Yeah. Follow along for more Wix basics videos. I'll see you in the next one.